Hey guys, so today what I'm going to do is my sister who is going to put a Freestyle Libre patch on me. Now this is a continuous blood glucose monitor. I am not a diabetic but my sister is a type 1 diabetic and she's one of those type of people that likes to tell everyone I'm joking. <laughs> You know how like you know how vegan? How do you know if a vegan is a vegan? They like to tell you. How do you know if someone's diabetic? They tell you. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> She's loving me right now. So the thing is, I the reason why I'm doing this is I gain weight really easily. I have a thyroid issue, and I'm curious to see how my body is insulin that has insulin sensitive to certain foods. So I want to like eat foods and see how my body responds, as well as seeing how it goes with stress and fasting and. All the lovely fun stuff in between so the problem is I'm really bad with needles and I'm a fainter and I don't do too good but I usually use like a numbing patch when I get a needle done but because my sister is doing this and if I use a numbing patch she's gonna call me a pussy because she does needles in her body every single day so I'm not allowed to use a numbing patch but I'm not gonna do this myself so I'm gonna get her to do it for me and she says it's really quick and painless and I'm overthinking it and my heart is already racing so apparently I'm a pussy <laughs> So she's going to inject me and then over the next two weeks I'm going to keep you guys posted with how my body is responding. <laughs> so I'm not going to look at this needle at all but I'm sure my sister's going to show it to the camera and uh, I'm going to look later when I edit the video. <laughs> right now. I'm just trying not to think about it as I talk about it. Should I go left arm or right arm? It's up to you. Most go the non-dominant. Left. So you're lefty. You know how when you go to a doctor's office and you hear them unwrapping paper? Because whenever I go get a needle, I say, I don't want to see it, I don't want to hear you do anything, and I don't, I don't want to even think about it. So this is kind of one of those moments. And um, she's in luck because I've just had my retinopathy eye exam, so my pupils are massive. So apparently she's also slightly blind. So I can't see it, Tia. I just can't see it. Good luck. If you put it in the wrong part of my body, I'll, I'll try not get your face. Let's just stop right. it. I need, I need a breathe for a second. I need some water. She needs a breather. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm going to set it up, oh, get the alcohol swab ready. It is not this huge. <laughs> this is the plastic tail. <laughs> so this is what she's afraid of. Um, and this is the other part, which is the sensor. Okay. So first thing I need to do is pull this off. So inside here is the sensor itself and this part is what puts it inside your body. So it kind of works as a little gun. So what I need the G word? <laughs> She's already pregnant. Okay, so what I need to do is line up this line with this one here and just push it down. So see that line there too? I don't want to see it. We if won't you do, this. do this again in the future. She needs to know. Okay. Now I'm just gonna pull it off once I know it's steady. And now it's all ready to go. Do you want to look at it or no? No. Okay, good to know. She's helpless. Okay, what arm are you choosing? Lefty? Just an alcohol oh. swab. <laughs> it's nothing. Do you need to lay down for this? Maybe. But I might lay down after. Okay, alright. I think my, I'm feeling Just you need to stay still for a little bit. What do you mean? So once I push in, you can't move your arm because I need to hold it there for at least three seconds so it doesn't remove the sensor, okay? Let's lay down. <laughs> Alright, moving the camera, we are laying down. I kind of want to take my shoes off. Let's get comfortable. Okay. okay. I'm so glad she's not the type one though. Imagine if I Can you imagine this? Oh my god. When I was injecting myself at the, in the hospital, she would be fainting on the floor. The nurses would have to assist her. So that's how bad she is, guys. Oh, she loves me. Alright, so I'll do it on three. Wait, I need the alcohol swab again. This is one of those lies where the doctor says to do it on three and you do it on one. <laughs> okay, so I'm just doing this again. Put your arm against your body so I know it's not going to bug you when you're moving around. So one, two, three. Okay, so I've just pushed it in. You um, actually cannot feel a thing. Yeah, so you work it up in your own head. Now I just need to try gently shimmy this off. And that is all done. That is all gone. It's now in her arm. Holy crap! I did not feel a thing. Put it in. Holy shit. Okay, wow. Like a boss. Look at this. I've been nervous for like a week. Oh my god. Put it, could have put it there. Like, 
can we? It's okay. <laughs> Can't move it now. Fine. Whatever. Worst aiming. Okay. If only every needle was like that. I'm still a little bit shaky from the fact that I just had a needle. But um, and you may complain about being diabetic. <laughs> this guy. She thinks Ooh. our life is easy Ooh, now. Guys. I have to stab myself every day with a needle like a boss. What the hell? Okay, we'll move on to the pump insertion. Uh, the yeah, no, next. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, guys. So. <laughs> A life in diabetes. Where's my machine? Oh, so what happened? So apparently it takes an hour for it to work. So it's not going to do anything for an hour. I haven't eaten since 5 a.m. But I'm not going to wait another hour to eat because I am kind of hungry. Just saying. So we're probably going to see how it goes after. And then I want to see what my base uh, blood sugar levels usually are. And then I want to see how my body responds before food, after food, with stress, with exercise. And all the fun stuff so i can have this in for two weeks if it doesn't get pulled out hopefully not in jiu-jitsu training but i am injured so i'm not training quite a bit this week so what do we got so this is my freestyle libre machine it's got a pretty sticker on it from pump hills and now we just need to scan it to activate the device so i just need to press start new sensor and i just need to scan and now it says we've got 60 minutes until we can use it oh cute little countdown okay so every time you scan it, if you do it before 60 minutes, it'll tell you how long you've got left. Do I press OK? Yep. And then in the future, when you're ready to use it, you just press the button and tap it. Cool. 60 minutes. Let's go shopping. Now I'm going to push it. Wait, what? Is that hurt? No, but don't push there it. There you go. <laughs> what the hell? Survivor. OK. This is weird. Just don't pull it. Don't get Should it. Should I model it? Doors. Should I model it? <laughs> Like to the tricep pop there. It is so like you put it in such an awkward move because it was laying awkwardly. That's right. I told you to put your arm against your body. I'm scared. It looks like I'm checking out my butt. <laughs> put it on your butt next time. Yeah. Okay. And unfortunately, all of this is just waste. That all goes. That's into a lot the bin. of plastic waste. It is unfortunately a Taiwan lot. Taiwan diabetics are contributing to our oceans <laughs> problems. <laughs> they have yet to figure out a solution. Uh, reusable. Oh, look at that 59 minute countdown. Oh, that was one minute of talking shit. The benefits of having a type 1 diabetic sister you get to use her Libre patches and you also get a sneak of candy. What? <laughs> so it's been an hour now and we're going to officially check it. I have not eaten anything. So let's see what my resting fasted ish after six hours in her food um, sugar level is. So, shall I just go to the back of my arm? Stabilized at six. Really? Six? I guess like 4.5. That's high, isn't it? It's on the higher side, but we'll see what happens later. Keep tuned. So it just dropped to 5.3, even though I just ate sushi, but I think maybe it was still calculating when I first did it. Doctor, what do you think? Well, generally, I keep my sensor in without activating it for a day. So it is more accurate. Okay, so the first day it might be off. First I don't know what it's doing. 24 hours and last 48 hours. Ooh, take notes. Okay, walk it. So I had a sushi and this rice paper roll and then I ended up having a boost which was the wonder melon with some protein and some juiced watermelon and sorbet. So it's very sweet and sugary so I wanted to try and spike a little bit. It's been between 20 to an hour since I had my lunch and then between my other foods. So I'm at a 5.9 so my sister said the first day is not very accurate so the first day is going to be a little bit messy. But it did have that original 6 I think it's just trying to figure itself out and then now it's slowly going back up. So I just tested my blood sugar and I'm a 5.6. I had a couple little snacky things um, while I was cooking. But the lowest I've gotten to so far is a 5 and that was about an hour or so ago. And then as I was walking around the shops and doing a few things, I could feel my cortisol going up a little bit and I came back and tested it when I got to the car. And it did actually increase close to 6 even though I haven't eaten since lunchtime which was about 1. Now for dinner I have got a kangaroo steak and a bunch of different veggies. There is a little bit of carbs in here, so I think it might go up a little bit, but I'm interested to see what this does. So it's been about 20-ish minutes since I've eaten, and I've actually dropped in my blood glucose. 
but I'm just at my computer doing work and I think I'm quite relaxed at the moment so I wonder if it's because my cortisol is low which is causing the drop but my sister did say that the first day of doing this your body is trying to get used to it so this could just be random readings for my first day so over the next week I better figure out what they actually mean so it has been over an hour since I've eaten and my sugar levels like glucose levels are actually pretty awesomely stable it's about a 5.6 so I'm gonna see what my fasting morning is but I'm going to guess it's about a 5 so the fact that I've just eaten and it's this so it's pretty awesome. I had a kangaroo steak. I had heaps of vegetables. There was carbohydrates in there. There was some brown rice and some barley grass stuff and a bunch of different things. It was a bulk salad that I got from a salad place, but it wasn't too crazy. So the fact that I'm pretty stable, even after having some, some carbs like that and like a lot of fats and nuts, it was a pretty good meal. So I'm pretty excited to find out what meals my body loves and what it doesn't but that one was a definitely a winner at this point.